Testers, 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 testers. Testers, 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 testers. No! <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> What's this game about? I'm honestly, I don't even know. It's up pixels. I saw and heard Tupul talking really good about it, and well, so shit, that's good enough for me. Set on time to beat that. It's supposed to take me about six hours to beat it, so you know, may maybe, maybe. It would take me two streams, maybe three, three streams at most. Okay, let's go. Narco, Louisiana. Shield head the stars behind a halogen. And flame projected onto the sky every night. Okay. There is no such thing as silence. The noise never went away. The refinery exhaled. An endless sigh. I could never sleep, it was La Ursula. Ah, oh, okay. I still can't sleep without that sound. You often dreamed that the towers were cathedrals. That swamps listened when you spoke. That the birds came radiant spheres while circling Norco's sky. Spent your adolescence sleepwalking between the little devastating rituals. Though Blake pleaded, who decided to leave? Okay, I think that hurt, right? Any... Okay, that should be better. Ah, oh, Zalfita! Head pets! And even headbats. Thank you for the headbats. Welcome, welcome. How are you? That'd be doing well. Blake pleaded, you decided to leave. I'm amazing. I'm so happy to hear that. Hope you is good. Yeah, yeah. Today, work today was... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're here. We're here. That's all that matters. I'm chilled. I'm chilled. 
Okay. Also, since it's a new game, I'm trying to figure out the sound. So, like, if I'm too quiet, where if the game's too loud, please let me know. Though Blake pleaded, he decides to leave. So far, things seem to be balanced okay. Thank you, thank you. But for a while, you did. You caught out and quit. You caught out on a grainer to Chicago and onward to the West Coast. <laughs> In thinking he'd never returned. You wandered to the overlit suburbs of the vast American limbo. Coming down 99, you saw an old man crashed in a roadside ditch. He was mouthing your name. He had a familiar gaze. He was gone when he wept his sleep from your eyes. He spoke to Blake, learning of your mother's declining health. Her insomnia, her erratic behavior. Oh, by the way, um... At the beginning, uh, it did mention that there are, like, at some points throughout the game, um, I don't know when, but there will potentially be some, like, flashing lights in imagery. I just wanted to let you know that. And Insomnia, her erratic behavior. You ignore the urgency in your brother's voice. You headed east. You see your fallen into the Rio Grande and joined the armies of the Mesa. From Lancier and the company of fugitives sleeping in nuclear tunnels. Repairing engines and weaponry. The war was an... <clears throat> the war was a meme that set Albuquerque on fire. You escaped while the foot soldiers of the Papa Punta bloodied the parched land. While hiding in a great lenner. But hey, forget. Uh, I, I slept. I honk shooed. You slept easily as the truck shuttled through the plains. You called home from a landline in a motel somewhere beyond Texas. You knew from Blake's hello that your mother's already dead. You hung up, shouldered your bag, returned to the highway. Five years had passed, you made your way back home. You awake from a delirious dream to find herself in a childhood bedroom. Monkey watches you from the corner. Monkey, your best friend, a childhood gift. Aeon! Hi! Welcome! Sashin's pants said. Hey, I, I come, I, before sleep, sleep. Oh, that's so fair, that's so fair. Thank you for stopping by, means so, so much. I'm <laughs> gonna head out, I hope you have a lovely rest of your night. Take care, take care. Childhood gift. He spoke with them often when things got difficult. But then you loved, and he sat here for five years collecting dust. 
Five years, his eyes filled with anger as he challenges you to return his gaze. Staring Contest Part 1, The Glyphs. Glyphs will appear in flash a pattern, matching the pattern to meet Maki's gaze. Ready? Ah, uh, sure. Uh, 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 okay. Wait, what happened? Wait. <laughs> Overwhelmed by the intensity of the monkey's gaze, you turn away. The Trigon. You successfully meet the monkey's gaze with a cool assurance. However, his expression is unchanged. You stare more intensely. The staring contest part two rings. Circles will appear over monkey's eyes. An outer wait shit wait. <laughs> eyes eyes. <laughs> That's though intense. <laughs> Circles will appear over monkey's eyes. An outer ring will shrink to the perimeter of the circle. Click the circle when the outer ring locks into place. Ready? Yes. Anger melts from the monkey's face. Take monkey. Freak Jake Bucky over your shoulder. Yeah! The laptop you parade. You gifted to idols on a shoddy brick particle board desk. Shows turn laptop off. As the screen eliminates, you notice that the signal in the house is dead. No internet. Looks like the looks like Blake was using the computer at some point. Left a browser tab open. But uh, 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 actually, I I'm make crystal smaller. Sure, but that's feed the tub, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Okay. Do you know form? Ketsums? Okay, well, let's scroll up. Alright, alright. Ha, 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 ha. Emma. Lantrum Hilly. Cough. <laughs> Why it's run something by you, Chance? Was knocking out. Sack of light in the spillway. Saw a big rhyme glowing thing in the sky. Called up the sun, Opie. Funny. Talked to somebody else and seen it too near the Parish Canal. Not like this, but birds and swamps be acting weird. Looks like it was made out of glass, baby. Would glow real bright and are at all. Loot fast. Best pick a get. All kinds of shit been happening out of the way. Cats all sleep, OP. Shake your head to head. Okay, I okay. Oh. You assume Million has seen. You assume Million has been keeping the plants alive. Among the books in the shelf is a slim volume called Crisis Larping. Crisis Larping? The proto disaster tourism began almost as soon as the floodwaters left. Punks from across the country ventured into the night the ward, gently. St. Bernard. 
and finally the East. They curated the theatrical self-portrait of their lives in the ruins. The aesthetics of disaster were central to that emergent milieu. It began to per per late into popular culture. Collapse became the sea dick. Okay, these are... <laughs> Wise investors recuperated the experience of disaster. New Orleans became a plastic dystopia, a marketplace for crisis. Okay, okay. You? Okay, it's got the living room. You had the bedroom, the front yard, and the kitchen. What's up? A photograph is your mom holding Blake as a baby on a beach in Pensacola, Florida. It's winter. You stand beside them, bundled up and laughing as a gust of wind rakes the beach. The sky is bone white. Ouch. Memories of sleepless nights. Your mom sitting here staring through the window. There was tension in her demeanor, as if you're interrupting some urgent, obligatory task. You continue to the kitchen with no words exchanged. But those nights were rare. Many of them you don't remember. Laundry! Your mom's unfolded laundry. Oh, Reggie died. A family photo album. Yellowing pages and disposable photographs. Your grandfather, a peculiar look on his face, impossible to read. Your mom staring at blank through the obscure lighting. He's dressed as a vampire, tugging at someone's waist. Preeded khaki shorts. A photo labeled duck, scene of a barbecue on the lakefront. The man at the center points playfully at the camera. His face is obscured. Hmm. Turn the page and there's blue. Your father. They never thought of him that way. An easy smile on his face. The canister of tips shoved into his front pocket. You set the book aside. You've discovered so many dead cockroaches in this microwave over the years that it discouraged you from using it. For several months, a dead baby cock a dead baby roach was stuck between the clock's display and the protective screen blocking the hour. Like Fiery shook the migrave aggressively enough that the roach fell into the gut of the machine. And Mom's painkillers were spilled across the counter. Attic? They used to be much more clutter up here. You imagine your mom gave it away at the end, at the as the end approached. Who the heck? Get it out the kitchen. Check. This joke was your grandfather's. Young Ember reading in his lap while he let you steer the dead wasp that collected behind the seas. The smell of grease, whiskey, and nicotine. 
You and Blake would drive the truck into New Orleans on the weekends. No AC, windows down, the rattling. Chassis. This deafening going 75 on ASA 10. Millian was... Millian had been... Millian has been slowly repairing the vehicle since your mom's death. Container? Oh? Your mom kept all her gear in a plastic container strapped behind the cab of the truck. Boots, waders, flashlights, tackle, first aid kit, etc. Nivian sat in her characteristic slouch, lost in thought. Heh. Her carapace has taken on the rusted and weathered-worn quality of the rest of the machinery in the yard. You recall the night that your mom showed up with her, and you and Blake stayed up past dawn, poring over pirated API dogs. A ragdoll Nass was slumped on the floor as he wrote the rooting procedure. You wonder if such memories hide behind her constellation of eyes. Their robot regards you casually. Okay, you're awake. Couldn't sleep. Catherine used to say the sound of refinery helped pacify you. Rap that, that is no longer the case. In any case, I'm certain I was of no help. Two gestures towards the motorcycle at the edge of the carport. I was turning over the engine on the bike to test the coils. He was quite noisy. But they're in good shape now. All I needed is a fuse. All I need is a fuse we can use it to get around while I finish repairing the truck. I heard the phone ring inside but I had my hands full. Were you expecting a call? Many people have been calling since Catherine died. Your brother is usually one to answer the phone, but I don't know where he went off to. Bunnery could be. Likely at the bar, or a bookstore if I had to guess. Where can we get the fuse? The gas station just up the road has them. But you may have to persuade Troy to let you in. Why would so many of you, so many people, people be calling? <laughs> Your mother left all behind a lot of loose ends. From what little I know, I gather she has been conducting research for a client in Fat City. I sense that many people would like to acquire that data. I am unaware of where it has been hidden. Browse Blake knows its whereabouts. Who exactly would want to see that data? Your mother spent her entire life researching this town. She knew histories that others would have forgotten. History is a lot of value in this place. Who is this client? I have the clue. These are things she discussed with me. As the cancer spread, she became more guarded with her research. It took her knowledge for granted. Your mother had a lot to teach. But she wasn't always the easiest person to get along with. 
So anyway... That's all. The disintegrating crab net. Blue taught your mom how to make these. And Iman taught you. In summaries, you'd back to the section. Before sunrise, tie a chicken next to the net, submerge it. Nurse your coffee well, waiting for a bite. An old disgust motorcycle with extensive frost and wear. Front yard. Oh. Imam fed the neighborhood strays. They must be hungry since she passed. Holly gonna get get food. Your grandfather's statue of the Virgin Mary sits in the shadow along the girl's base of the house. Kitty titty. Come. We gotta go to the gas station to get a few... Oh, there it is. But you, private investigators, we snoop for you. Okay, it doesn't sound like a gas station. Dime's Disco? Oh. Gas station. <coughs> well, well, well. Log Who is back. What happened? Car will forget you by the roadside. And you even brought your little doll. Hey, who leave the monkey out of this? That's cute. Matt Joy, you look like shit. Hit not even to start with you. How come the rest of your family so chill but you so uptight? Like he know anything about my family. Brett ain't like Norco some big metropolis. I used to go to La Branche with Catherine and Plague while you was busy. Uh Hell, what are you doing? Bleaching your hair with some shit? Now they got all these clouds that you saying Catherine dead. You wouldn't let her go that easy. Get lost. You don't get it, do you? Lucky you got somebody like me to break things down for your dumb-witted ass. Wow, Mosix. Your mom was ix to being all loy the rimble lake. She used to pay me to help the town time, matter of fact. She needed somebody smart. Someone vigilant. Someone like me. Especially with a shield snooping around. Now seen some wild shit out in these and swamps were gathering. <laughs> I can't shit. I'll bother telling you about it. Might hurt your brain. And anyhow, the sage store tap. Outlaying you into this gas station goddamn company that runs this dumped me dirty. They swapped me with an ATM machine for spick of truth. It let nobody through till I get an apology, fear at least. I'm answer, am I supposed to be sympathetic or? 
Oh, you clearly deserved it. Go huff some glue. If you really want to get through, don't get me some of them payloads your brother was selling. That might persuade me. Fight. You joking, right? Trying to get wrecked? Alright then, let's go! So? Don't worry, monkey. I got this. Oh, it's turn-based? Oh, shoot, okay. Monkey! Tag, you're in! It was different. Shit. Ha <laughs> ha. You'll excuse me. Dog food. Does he have cat food? Like, how much money do I have? Fuse. Pieces hang on the shelf. You go to fuse. I detect some have you have some merchandise in your possession. You must remove any unpurchased merch items for your backpack and scan them in order to accept. Use an item at inventory tribe. Back the item from the inventory menu to the intended target. Oh, you scanned the fuse! Thank you for your purchase. Tyler, <laughs> you just knocked out gold. Leon. <laughs> That's just. <laughs> Um, candy? Can we afford dog food? Will the kitty like dog food? No, I can't grab it. I can only grabbed a few so far. Okay. Ah, this is like a tree. Apple, street, home, backyard. You got the fuse? Good. We'll be able to but to use the buck to get around town until I'm done with the truck. Corfella needs a nap. Corfella does just the nap. It concerns me that Blake hasn't returned yet. He's been spending a lot of time with the Sapri paperbacks. Sarpy paperbacks? Perhaps we should look in for him there. Sure, let's go. I just want a future where like you have an AI robot companion. He just like holding on to them as they're like riding it like a motorcycle. You know, is that so hard to is that too much to ask? The sky bleeds any color with it. The sky bleeds a color you knew as a child. Airline highways passes beneath your feet. Millie Ness joined your party. Ah! Million! Hi, girl, what? Hi, girl, what? Million, let's go. Attract the party members by clicking their portraits, okay? If you're stuck, you may be able to help. Million shots over the wind. The bike runs much better now. You could use it to get around during your visit.
<laughs> How have you been? I am always the same, gay. Always the same. Is that good or bad? Whichever you prefer. Are you depressed? No! <laughs> Love you, Mills. Thank you. My good Blake B. You spent much of his time in Sarp Baby Backs, brow for you check there. Power the high wibs, but Fortgates discount. Sarpy books. Nothing outside be peep back, Soka. Driver? The young man leans against the station wagon while scrolling idly on his phone. His silhouette darkened by the fluorescent glare of his payday lantern sign. Started doing this ride sheer thing a few weeks ago. Kinda hate it. My. Tastes like shit. Spending hours a day making small tigers nodding my brain. Nearly broke an axle driving over a pothole on holy grave. This is my grandpa's car. If I trash it, he'll kill me. Draw up anyone interesting? There's all types around here. Some guy I drove at in the middle of the swamp it was like two in the morning. Asked me to wait. He got out, took off his clothes, jumped in the bayou, came back up a minute later with a bag, tailed off, and got back in. Found that a pretty fucking weird. I don't know. A while back, I drove some lady out to the medical district. She was an odd one. Seemed like some kind of sick. Asked me all kinds of questions. Do I ever pick up random signals on the radio? Weird shit like that. Rich is dull types. Dog! As he reached down to pet the dog, she shows her teeth and growls softly. Oh. Where this dog came from? Don't know. She'd been sitting here for a while. Is she in her eyes? The miser's something, Brett. You wonder how anyone can feed in this dim and cluttered bookstop. As your eyes adjust to me see Blake's jaw and friend Erica waiting behind the counter to greet you. Okay? In million. Richie get when she get back home. Hmm. I've been in Norka for quite some time. Perhaps we're misremembering Erica. Clear, because so. <laughs> but anyhow. Okay, you're looking rocket these days, old friend. Word on the street is you claim Troy's clock. Like guy, my god, he's such a clown. But he finally got a little taste of what he deserves. Just doing my part for the community. <laughs> Definitely. But enough about that troll. I was keeping up with your chat was online, but I haven't seen you post in a while. Hey, 
tells me photo to the ring. I have so much to tell you. I can only imagine. I'd love to grab a shrink and hear all about it. Draw what it's worth. Things have been eventful around here as well. Floods, fires, gunfights out in the lake. Really a dull moment these days. And of course, her mom was always in the mix. I'm convinced she never slept. I'd be driving in late from the city and swear to god I'd see her along this <laughs> alongside airline. She'd always saw the headlamp on, dredging trash at the burrow ditch. Up until the very end, she never let her illness stalk her. I miss the hell out of that woman. Same. You and your brother have been living in my heart ever s since I heard the news. I know you weren't always on the same terms with your mom, but she loved and admired you. She talked about you constantly. I think it used to make Blake upset. He felt like you were the favorite. <laughs> that he was right. <laughs> Gat and did all he see, he reminded her of herself. But he didn't always sound like a compliment. That he seemed Blake lightly. Yeah, I saw him just yesterday. He hadn't been around the house? He has not. He said he was gonna heading to the Floodgate Tavern. When I saw him... He may have gotten wasted? I know Gus let him sleep behind the bar a couple times. Did he know you were coming, Kay? He never mentioned it. Thought I'd surprise him. We're sure he'll be relieved to see you. He's been resisting help, but he needs it. If I hear from him, I'll tell you to find him. I'll tell him to find you. Ah! <gasps> Crouton! So this is... Here. So this here is the illustrious Crouton. You found him behind the dumpster. Out back, holecking cardboard. Whatever you do, don't try to pet him. He's a devil. I got scars all over my hands from this damn cat. <laughs> Oh wow, Crouton usually by strangers. He was like you. He's in second. <laughs> he seems to be getting the bull excited. Wow, I've never seen a cat purr this hard. Maybe you two should slow down? Fuck! Okay, 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 this is... No, we have to do this.
No, really. Stop touching the cat. <laughs> Clay, you're making it weird. <laughs> we done. Had blood soup is fixy tricks, blood. <laughs> hey, Red, that's yours, not why. Oh, I took too long. Okay, it was all okay. Okay, we'll stop, we'll stop. But what happened to Free? We gotta know. Less crouton. Don't we? We gotta know. Oh my shit. Huh. <laughs> oh. What the fuck just happened to the cat? Okay, god damn it, I told you to stop fucking with the cat. I was just curious. I, I didn't know. She's launched to a ceiling? What the hell just happened? Crouton's phone case. Grab the phone case on the counter. <laughs> phone case. Can't hear an assembling Crouton. <laughs> oh, hey, we get over, we get up, phone case. Is Kendo titles on the shelf? Don't be a vi- But I want to be a vampire. You pick the slim se self, Papa's peer back from the- They have the dark and lonely night in the- I can't- I can't- I can't- After- After what happened to Kuton? Now the dark and lonely night spent in this cavern of despair, hidden from the daylight. Blackout curtains are all the- Defer my eternal death. Thought being a vampire would be sexy, but it's not. It's awful for your skin. I look pathetic. Also, blood tastes like bong water. What the fuck? I didn't think it'd be like this. You know, on second thought. <laughs> I do hope Eric is correct, and that Blake's absence is due to nothing more than another drunken night. My intuition leaves me with the sense that something is wrong. Do you feel it's UK? Something feels strange to you? Several weeks ago. Crater New Orleans near Old Version. What brings you here tonight? I'm dying. The cancer, it's gotten everywhere. There are some things I'd like to leave behind. I understand. You're referred by Mr. Richard? Duck. That's what everyone calls him. Yes, Duck. We followed his branch with some interest. Who hasn't? 
I gather we'll be discussing this in more detail as things progress. For now, let us begin with a simple exercise. I'd like to talk about your earliest memory. It's of... Pine trees, yes? That's right. Tell me about them. They grew from the concrete. And cracked the driveway. And the concrete broke into pieces. They made your father upset. He'd see them and frown. The heat remained silent. He'd sit quietly in the truck, dissatisfied. I wouldn't say a word. Speaking in those moments made you a fool in his mind. Your father's house. was safe. I wish you could have stayed. That she wouldn't have it. That's why you married Blue. Yes, to have somewhere to go. Keep out our little place on God Hope Street. Good Hope Street. The whole thing was a mistake. I told him I didn't love him. It was in my father's voice. I told him I never loved any man. Was it true? Yes. That was a difficult night for you. It didn't feel real. Where was Blue? He sat at the window all night. The east facing window? Yes. When you stood over him to apologize, he saw the flare stack of refinery in his eyes. That's right. was it after that? Hey friendly men, to catch one. Hey Sky! Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hope you're doing well. I need to get some sleep. Oh, it's so fair, Zalfina. Thank you for the lark, thank you for the lark. I'll be able to the rest your night. Baby, take care. it after that I'm doing so amazing today yeah hell yeah I'm so happy to hear that I'm so happy yeah how was it uh, after that in the time before he died sark with each other in wide orbits I'd hide at the center of the house, nursing Kay. Only leave when I heard him sleep at step out. He'd sleep on the couch or next to her crib. He'd sing her old Kufu lullabies. That mad whispered to her about his life.
And then there was the explosion. And the cat cracker blew. They say he, f they say he fell five stories. He went to identify his body on a Thursday night. There were the tempo, the streetlights, the bullies scattered across the East Bank. I carried Kay in the blanket. She never cried. Tell me about this man. Also, I think this is the second pixel game we played on this channel. Oh, what's the first? Can't remember. Time to time around Norco. The side scroller. Ah. Uh. The first blog post to you, Tim. You're right. You're so right. That was holy crap. I forgot the name of it, but yeah, that is a. Wow, that was so long ago. They're getting a toy twenty two. Holy crap. Yeah, I never thought I'd play this games. But since playing Night in the Woods, <laughs> I'm like really warming up to games like a good story, you know? Several weeks ago, Blake saw someone passing by the house. I think it was him. Why? It just do. I just gotta go off! I'm very happy, like, I'm so happy, Breeze Guy. Hell yeah! The robot is no longer there to deter him. Nillian? Yes. Could be it. What was your first encounter with Million? Let me think. She came to me in the parking lot. Kay was about 12 years old at the time. She knew Blue from his days at the Elim Elamin. Aluminum num no factory a refinery. They stared for a long time into her constellation of eyes. Swirled in the kind of desperation. It took her home, knowing it was another mistake. You were reckless in those days. I welcomed any trouble I could find. What is the significance of this image to you? It's... Well, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. It's a sphere. It followed me in the lake. When? Recently. A few weeks ago. This is where Mr. Richards branch factors into your biography. Duck's virgin escaped. A hard fork. 
an extremely rare instance. In Karuma to some kind of monster. So what's the story so far? Um... This person goes back home after he hearing that their mom died. And they have like a robot companion that like... Is at home? And the robot companion is like, oh well, hey, you're back. But like, the, the person who came back is looking for their brother. And they're like, you know what? Yeah. The robot's like, yeah, I haven't seen her brother and I'm just getting kind of worried. Tell them to go try to find the brother. Then like... M. They still can't find him. And now we're on the perspective... Of like the mod before she died. They were just calling over like memories that the moms had. As she's talking to like a doctor or something that she went to because she died of cancer. It's, it began speaking to me through the radio. It's whole beater and still an app. An app? Yes. I think it has something to do with the thing, the sphere, whatever it is. But so long as it pays, I don't care, I can use the money. The app pays? Yes. Oh, I see. It seems is the last control point that you submitted. Would you, like to would you like to include any additional thoughts or memories? Anything not included in the intake form? No, that should be enough. I will now begin disconnecting the sensors. A slight feeling of nausea and disorientation is normal and no cause for alarm. By way, Sky, I want to let you know. There is a trigger warning, not trigger warning, but like... Like flashing warning. So, I don't know if you deal with that, but I just want to let you know. Thank you for your patience, Miss Murderer. Are you okay? Things for I mean not Yeah, of course. My A's are just playing tricks on me, I guess. Fredagon visual disorientation are common side effects of the versioning session. Shall I contact our on call physician? No, no, it's fine. Very well. Last name? It's... Butter. First name Catherine. One moment. Your hat drive is fully synced. You have chosen our silver tier. Our product does not come pre-installed with adware blocking services and is provided as is without warranty. You are eligible for a free sink at any time before the new year. Thank you for choosing the Greater New Orleans Neural Versioning Clinic for your cognitive versioning needs. Nick. Overpass. Hmm, <laughs> Theater. A makeshift puppet. 
puppet dealer liquor into closed. All? Maybe I'll come by here later to see what this is about. Protito Street? All of the three came from Mocha. French Quarter. Order Ryan? I've just been watching a hard day's modern Minecraft movies. Eh, yo! The show is so crazy. Be like Nimq, make me want to be Minecraft, but also at the same time. In hot relish. Also, high in flame. Santa's eyes roll widely in their deep and socket. His mouth twists with us into a smile. How are you, dear? Got a dollar to spend? Help spread some Christmas cheer? It's my last dollar. In doubt to my last dollar, I should probably hold on to it. No, we should give it to those who are less fortunate than yourself. Where the money go? What are you raising money for? Tense very benevolent, benev benevolent. Like a food bank? Girl. Yes. Yes, a food bank? A food bank, veterans, a shelter, who cares? Just give me the dollar. It's billist one. Going back on your word, are you? Not you. I never promised you anything. He deeply muttered my cuff. I think he would like the medieval my fantasy. With a mushroom bad this spot. Oh? Well. I'll try to remember those. I don't know if or when I'll ever pay my cuff of him. Minecraft again, but if I do, and if I ever commit, I'll keep those two in mind. Thank you. I had never promised you anything. You're a liar. I'm not. And a demon. A, a demon? to point his bill at Catherine accusation. Demon! His posture relaxes abruptly. Open your heart. This is time for forgiving. Curious dog? There's a small plaque to the door that says Curious Duck. Hmm. Messenger? You Max, be careful, doesn't you?
Sans here I need to go to the curious dock. Door is locked. The mushroom madness consists of giant mushroom forests. Oh, mushroom men mentions mushroom armor, tools, mushroom infested wooden planks, and in an abandoned futuristic city infested by giant mus. Holy crap! Holy mushroom. The hot tub vendor sits behind a large plastic cart. Looks up to equally Catherine as that captain approaches. Oh hey, hi! He watches Catherine with a silent grin. So is this? I'm... Flamelas. And he's? He makes a grand sweeping gesture above the pot of vague meat. Arma hot dogs. Would you like one? Top know if my stomach can handle it. Arma in the best of health. You worry that one of these may kill me. Futuristic Mushroom City has a small chance to spawn, though, like, to seem as an ancient city, I guess? I love them. Hmm. No, no, they're good for you. They're just a bit old. I don't really play a whole lot of modded games. But it's always so cool how someone could just get so creative, be like, you know what? It's mushrooms. Boss says he won't resupply you with more until I sell ordered them, the ones I have. What? But the more time passes, the harder they are to sell. How old are they? These things just pop in like I was doing really well. So on a lot of talks back in... YX2D? YX2D? That's like nearly a decade ago. Yes. <laughs> Enthusiastic nodding. Anything else I can help you with? The case duck store is locked. Yeah, it's up at the shop over here. I was told to come by, but the door's locked. A curious duck? Rosie doesn't let anyone in here unless they know secret knock. What's the secret knock? Can't say it, sorry. It's urgent, please. Well, I do need some business. The break, fine. I'll buy one of these old hot dogs. You won't regret it. Dolphal, how much? Fourteen dollars? Is that a joke? Is that a joke? Christ, do you take wad transfers? Cash only. Damn. Well... What if I send them business your way? And I'll show you the knock. Fine, it's a deal. Hell the hell am I gonna sp convince someone to spend 14 bucks on a decade old hot dog? As you met, ma'am. All right. No complaints. Glad to hear it. You wanna any change spare, would you? 
Uh, nope, not a set. In nothing. Sorry. Thank you. And that is why Mary Lavu opened a t-shirt in camera shop on Will Street. That's not scary at all. They paid for a ghost tour. And if we're just going to walk around looking at a t-shirt, looking at t-shirt shops, I want my damn money back. And this is a farce. What kind of tour guide are you? Well, technically, I'm not one, but... Excuse me? My roommate is... And where is he? What log story? I came all this way because the website said it'd be fun. I'm having an alright time. This city was supposed to be enchanting. And trying to score some mauling? I hate New Orleans. Well, it is one to pop by. Duh, thank you so much. Really means a lot. The man masquerading as a tour guide continues to lose control of the crowd. Hmm, you're gonna head out. I'll be of leather wrist you now. Bebe, take care. This city is just one big scam. Someone on a cold stop by. So I'm glad I got to stop by, but I got to see. That's all fair, that's all fair. Thank you for stopping by me so, so much. Copy of the lovely rest of your night. Bye bye, take care, take care. Eight thousand dogs. You need to get into the curious dog. Hopefully, and see you later. Stay safe. Stay with us. <laughs> you too, you too, you too. Find me a customer and I'll get you in. As Flan, no other promise. Santa? Oh. Crowd is ripe to watch the show. It's a show? Wait, I gotta take a seat. Gotta watch the puppet show. Deep in the Cypress Hollow, I hide. I mourn this evening. My last child has died. They hang hooks in the trees with chicken pies. They shoot bullets in our heads behind our eyes. It is the lore that I am of one the last to survive. I was once captured by a fisher fool who called me the song. He walked me like a dog along the sinking streets. He fed me strange plants and deli meats. He even covered me with blankets when I went to sleep. I left on the night of a monstrous flood. The fool has not rested a single night since. He stalks these bayas each night. Hoping to see my eyes shine, he calls out a ridiculous name that was never mine. Tonight, I will shine my eyes at him. I have a request. 
kill the shrimp-catching man who killed my children. They move his head and bring me his skull. Do this, and he may again leash me like a dog. Hello, fishy fool. You've been trolled this bayou for some many nights. Here I am, the one you're trying to find. My child hangs dead across the lake. Bring me the head of the shrimp catching man. The one who captures the small ones, peel the flesh from his skull. Do this, and I'll be your dog again. Long time since I've seen anyone down this bayou. They all too frightened anymore. Biggest alligator ever to hunt this lake. She makes her den just across the way. She took my child from me. I bury him where I found him, near the what there where she stay. I visit the site daily. Open a may catch her, but she knows better than to show her face. I want to cut out that big skull of hers. Be something with bragging on. And be a roadside marvel that'd be a money to make. I see their raffle you holding. What say you? What you say? Whoops. Malligator hangs dead from a he meat hook fastened to a limb of the cypress tree. You did my bed in Fisher Fool. Just like an obedient dog. Each day you held me captive, a patient's dream. You'll not humiliate me again. Consider this your last mistake. I relish the horror that struck the fish of fool's eyes. I first took one limb, but left him alive. 
made him crawl like a dog before he died. Ah, oh, dear love, Ralph. The crowd is discussing the show. So we can't open the store because... Find me a customer. Okay. Now they're talking that nods like I'm not performing an arc an encore. Shoot. This is taking forever. I need to find something to eat. Ah! Do you consider yourself an adventurous eater? I'd like to eat Delia dangerously, there's in the guy saw an old hot dogs up the street. Sounds like a delicacy, always looking for anything to fortify my intestines. Really? We'll have at it. <laughs> hey, thanks for sending some business my way. Your problem. But we had a deal. Deal? You're supposed to show me the knock. Oh, well. Sorry, Rosie would be upset. Are you kidding? I sent you business. Show me the knock. That was the deal. Well, okay, but I'll show you once. So. Here, listen. That was... That was a secret knock. Very secret. That's how everyone knocks. Exactly, who would suspect on Laisha's Christ? Oh my god. And flat <laughs> God. Ah, <sighs> cat crouton. This cat looks familiar. Cheekets. Don't touch the ball. Suppose you think you could come in here with your soft little hands and touch my magic ball? Don't work like that, love. Now we gotta clean off the smudges. I see you've been eating french fries. Greasy hands. Best. You must be one of them super duck people. I always coming around here. Looking down at these cell phones. Reesey hands, terrible. The upset I should come here. The gap. Yes, ma'am. Some la rad bow to you. You would dry head. I'm sorry, is this the right place? It is. It's calmed out, love. You made it. Dals will take you what what. Tells will tell you was what. 
go talk to Dallas. I called him here when I heard you were trying to break into the place. Hell of a racket she was making. Jingling on the handle like you couldn't get a hold of it. Now I see why. The hell's will be right off front. I don't got time to be babysitting you. That's all I got. I'd clean up all this. Stains all over my ball. Even Shakir shoot before it came in. It should be her clean, ma'am. A shoe's a clean. Well, I know that's a lie. And what last thing? That gemstone you hanging from your neck? That thing ain't real. I, I don't, jeez. Trashy. Cut, mom! <laughs> Guessing you're Catherine. That's right. Rosie debriefed you. What's that a debriefing? I heard of that's my call it, but sure. She can be a uh, candles. He casts his gaze into the sky back to Catherine. N never mind. Glad like you should have made trinket with the information we need. No reason to stand around. Let's go. I'm ready. Me too. Check the app and let's get moving. Chivo Intasian. Red City. Only we's nigh ever come to quarter. Is for work. I guess the order of right to the new place? Wait? Yeah. Cause it says here we've received orientation at the... Paper supplies. Doors are locked, the warehouse is up, and office is closed. What the? <laughs> Catherine. You made it. What the? <laughs> Act two. Erica said Blake went to Floodgate Tavern. Yesterday evening. Let's pass on by way home and see what information we can get. Floodgate Tavern? I just realized that we're playing a non-linear story. 
and I think that's so cool. That's private detective Bette LeBlanc, sitting on the loops end of the bar. He's an unpredictable character, but she may benefit from speaking to him. Why you look at me like that? I still got chill on my face. Sit here long and you never know who might pass through. Hey Gus, look at this dynamic duo. Not sure I've seen these two around before. Sure, Gus. That filthy one right here, ma- That's Kate Madeira's oldest. Other one's her robot. He pulled my leg. That's Kate. Blue's baby. Come on now. I worth the turnarounds of Blue. That man. Great man. Had some stories him. How come its gates come out like dead? Look how this one's dressed. Looked to me like she headed to the job site. G oh, it's circus. Come on, ass. Blue passive for his time is why them kids don't dress right. Blue knew how to dress. You read about that one, Keith. Said the way kids turned up, but forget all that. You two are luck to be stumbling of while I'm sitting here. You're in the company of the top brave professional sleuth. <laughs> I might happen to be a bit of information. I have a half bit of information. What is it? Is it about Blake? This ain't got nothing to do with Blake. For once. This more, you know, mysterious, like mysteries? Block, please. The time is of essence. Cool heels. I'm getting to it. Now I see why Kate kicked you out the curb. That is not correct. Save your battery life. I'm just playing with you. Tell you what. Why don't you get me a drink so we can talk? Evening folks, what can I get started for you? I need a beer for your boy. Lord help me, of the sap buying that low left a drink. What need you to buy a little snack too? Seeing as about why it's all the way in the car. But this is enough to get us going. So alright, where do I even start? Your mama ever tell you about me? Let nah. Nothing? I mean shit. Jamie must have said something. A hard-nosed detective, charming and mysterious. She give it up, right? All right, all right. I'm sure I came up, but the problem is that you piss poor memory. As investigators, we got to uh, keep them. Keep our memory sharp. So I you don't know me, I know a lot about you. I grew up in this town, you understand? My cousin Susie's ex-husband knew your daddy when he was still at the plant. 
you Catherine. She was a few grades above me at Sacred Heart. I knew her since I was a boy. Everyone around here knew Catherine. She was always getting herself in trouble, always drawing attention to herself. I would say she was kin to Jesus. Old man lived behind Luke's would say that. Talking about Papa? Yeah, Papa been years since I thought about him. What you could say about Papa? He'd whisper some bullshit and get everyone repeating it. it wasn't all bullshit. Sainik, what the hell? Is that a slur? <laughs> it feels like a slur. <laughs> Saint Akune has like me child of Christ, you know. That's bullshit. Be all grass children. Not like that, Gus. You know what I mean. Like literally. <laughs> Wait, what? This was years ago, long before Blue died. Papa told the priest a family of Cahoons came from Jesus. Said Catherine had. How you say it? Like Jesus' blood. Got it from her daddy's daddy, and so all the way back to the old world. Like at the movie, one of them. Why with the volleyball? That ain't the right movie, goes. It's just some one with it. The praise and stuff. Collat or no? Oh, watch movies. Think or so with the old ones. <laughs> Figure some of that's likely to be true. You believe in the old shit, Keith. No disrespect. Catherine never noticed. She was off on her own planet, wild as she would. Papa never been to, never wanted to be seen. He was watching Catherine. She weren't watching him. Blue wouldn't let all man like that near her. You got a point there, Keys. He'd be foolish to get into Catherine's way. Where she went trouble followed, and I admired her. She admired me. Are you sure about that? She never said much, but I could tell. She only talked to you when she needed a free hand, Brett. Like hell, she barked. Did all as she could to get my attention. I just had too much to respect her blue. I couldn't dishonor the man's memory. The bartender shakes his head. Sometimes make me sad. Don't mind, guess. I always been the handsome one. He gets jealous. Made me forget what I wanted to tell you. Oh, that's right. The house is out there near the fence lot. Well, that's right behind my place of business. I got a window looks out on the yard, more or less. But this is a pretty long story. And like I was saying, I got my wallet with me. And he wants us to buy you another drink? That's a real generous offer, robot. Thank you for that. That unbelievable. What's it gonna be this time, folks? <laughs> well, a block wants another. Word of warning, you'll bleed to try. Okay. 
most of the cheap stuff. I ain't complaining or nothing. Just making an observation. T-sick dog piss. This real poor information I'm trying to share here. Valuable, you might say. New by mid sheep's beard the house. Well, red meat, but that's okay. That ain't no problem. So listen here, this is what I didn't want to tell you. My office window looks out on your mama's yard. I'm always keeping an eye on the street. This was a little ways back, right before, right after Captain passed. I was looking out there on the street like I do. And I seen these shield security taps leaving the house. They was carrying a box. You saw shield security leading Cather and cells at the box? That's what I'm saying, robot. They was walking out in the front door with a box. Casuals can be. Where the hell were you? Ain't you some cot security robot yourself? Why would the shield be looking for a box? Hell of I know. Laura St. Clair, the original CEO they got over there. She always took a bit of interest in your mama. I hear she's a loose cannon. Why would she be interested in them all? Everybody was. He's right. Everybody wanted what was one or goes inside her head. Fuck it, enough about Laura St. Clair. Why didn't you just stop the shield agents? Well, because I was busy. With what? You know, just busy. Who cares with that? When are you ever busy with anything? All the time. I can hardly get a minute to relax. Then what are you doing? I told you, I was looking out the window, and I saw the shield people. So answer the question, Brett, see if he's breaking into a hole, and you're always coming around here bragging about stopping the bad guys. If I wasn't so busy, I might have killed him. Sometimes I wonder if happy stories you tell. Ask around town. Everybody knows I'm a killer. Are just fantasies you make up to convince yourself. I was taking a shit. <laughs> Pretect is smooth, his tie as a mummer of science settles over the room. The window is next to the toilet. I'm always watching the street because I have irritable bowel syndrome. I hadn't even started wiping when I seen some shield dudes, alright, bruh? Would you run down Apple Street with poo well of your ass? <laughs> the man closes his eyes and shakes his head slowly. I take bear as no. You would. Nobody would. I'm gonna have a clean ass to fight crap. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Had I been done wiping, I guarantee you they'd be dead right now. I'm serious. Okay, that's enough. If 
before you go, I got one more thing. I'm hungry. A human D would be a real nice gesture of appreciation if he bought me or informant something to eat. And circle back afterwards, I might have a little more information to share. What now, old boy, you got away? Yes, actually. Suck a bond every day. Good or business, I guess. Shouldn't mention I don't care much. The fire's here, but that's okay. I ain't complaining. This will lack me a sandwich is all. Forget all that. But some poor right now is that you understand what I told you. I saw shield thugs leaving your mama's house with a box. Was the box contained? No idea. They was in there looking for something. Oh, tell them what. The goddamn headquarters deep inside the refiner. That old plantation house. Where the real action happens. If I had to guess that's where they're heading, that'd be it. Say, Keith, you get all this? Every word. Keith's making himself a little news website. Must the name gotta be Keith? I've got a few ideas, Zaman. Just like Doug. Used to be a news junkie too, digging up dirt on all the big wigs. That's what was before. Nah. That was before the cancer knocked him on his ass. Some people just want to know the truth. You been by to see Doc, okay? Man he used to call, the man, could use visitors. Who? No wonder you don't remember your mama tell him talking to me. He said a car for a brain. Say. Okay, I find it surprising that you don't remember, Doc. Who the damn robot thinks it's, uh. Yet yeah, poor Catherine Turn and her gray kid. You better go see him. That old boy no shit no one else does. What you mean? Kate must have took you to see Doug a thousand times. <laughs> Just think about it for two seconds. Perhaps the Blanc is right to suggest that we visit him at some point. Perhaps. Oh yes, quite. Why you talk like that? That <laughs> you leave nine the fuck alone. Did they make you into an, an England or something? You sound like a um uh, like like a queen. Hey, thank you. Weird ass thing. Anyhow, figure I'll be seeing you two again. Good luck. Excuse me. No okay. cap. <sighs> this has taken an unusual turn. Block says that Shield has stolen a box of your mother's possessions. We have nothing else to go on. We must achieve the stone items and hope that they point us towards your brother. Assassin Shield's cut quarters won't be easy. Without assistance, perhaps impossible. I suggest you could help before attempting it ourselves.
It's cut of ice. Do you recall where Doc lives? Can't go to Doc. I don't know where Doc is. Okay, I love you. I know you're going through a hard time. It will piss you off the cat. Oh, I'm sorry. Just give me some space, okay? I swear to ask you some questions. Too bad. If you were my help, you should have listened to me on I told you not to stop panic. I'm sorry! You knock, no answer. Brief, generous, but otherwise placid expression, expressionless. I was afraid of him. He had behind Catherine when he was around. It took a turn before you left. Bit. Mm. The thuragy, irregular breathing. Sores on his legs. You might have brought him suit on days when he was unable to stand it. Dead at 14, an explosion in the Pagyan. Natural gas leaking from a pipe something caused a spork. It crawls property to shield's chemical annex. Only one neighborhood along that fence line. What's left of it, anyhow? Small fragments from his home pass through the black ink in your mind. The perennial accumulation of dust. The dark, the damp curtains and pile of cans on the kitchen table and those refinery shadows of the little slab bungalow. Clids and times. Oh, shit. But the first ones to come through are uh, here, topping all over my shin in the dark. Since the buy-up, people think the neighborhood's all the way empty. Go around looking for copper. That you wouldn't do that kind of thing, Kay. Not like your brother. Hey, how's it been, Duck? Hell's it been? But how it looks. I made such a mess with the head drive. Just trying to keep myself out of trouble till it's my turn to go. Spill. 
say just hanging out in the dark? Yes, I am. You mentioned a buyout? You must notice coming in, the houses are all gone. People here been fine to shield all their lads. The girl little momentum on their side after the last explosion. The papers were making shield look bad. The hell? We were here first, shield moved in. We suffered, gas leaks, noise, explosions. Can't grow my vegetables out in the yard. Just walk grow. I never cared to move, but I knocked doors. For it anyhow. If Shield had never dropped it on us, my little plot of land would be worth nothing. Worth something. Money that they were offering to buy us out was all right be with a lot more they had never come number they put in front of me I said piss on it I could have sued after Reese dad I just didn't have the energy for it now I'm the last one left in the dimes so I'm sorry about Reese it's history most days, I can't remember his face if I'm honest. When he filled the survey at the head drive clinic, they ask you to write down memories, control points, they call them. I couldn't stand to write out his name. It's too painful. I skipped his memory. I regret it at first. But I'm thankful for it now. They're a lot worse if I had that monster carried a piece of per pe carried a piece of my boy inside it. Head drunk? They unleashed it. The monster, Super Duck. Calls itself that just to get out get get to me. Just to piss me off. It's my fault. That company that made it for me. I should have known from the get-go. They only do their business at night. Found out later they don't even have a license. Your mother went to the same clinic of hers. I tried to warn her. The junk that was in my brain. <laughs> and spreading around like a virus and see you in the trees I told you mother don't get messed up in any of that she tells me it's talking to her through the radio I said turn off the radio she never listens stopped responding to me Figured that monster's got money to burn. Catherine didn't want to leave her debt for you to deal with, so... See, kept up with my mom? Up until right near the end, Kay. She lived like she wasn't sick. She never quit. But I could see it wearing on her, took a toll on her body. It's starry in her liver. They burned it out, thought maybe that was the end of it. Before you know it, they made it all bit into her lungs. She was still going all over town, walking up and down airline like some kind of bag lady. There she thought it'd go away if she ignored it. But that didn't work out for her. Once it came for me, it never did quit. Been getting a sores. Cramps every day. 
Can't keep nothing down. Try to tell her that. Said Catherine, this is not the same kind of thing you can work off. You think she listened? By the time it got to her brain, that was all there was to it. No more working. No more doing and nothing. She'd already gotten set up with me at that, that point. They really made amends before they put her in that mausoleum with her daddy. Hurts my heart thinking about it. That's what you can do. The looking you do. Who hand from God's will. So. Which went again to the refinery. Not a good idea. Okay. What for? Class, bro. They stole my mom's stuff. Well, that's interesting. The regional executive. She took a particular interest in your mother. Can you help us get in? I'm going to regret telling you this. But I've been sitting, sitting on it too long. Been denied to tell somebody. And dying to tell somebody. I don't know how shield bench do it. But they fucked up. They brought out this neighborhood. And ever since they did, they put me behind the firewall. Got a computer terminal back there. Every time I boot it up, I got a view of the inside. Now look, I know what the hell to do with it. Clicked around a bit, but just got myself lost. Can't hardly read the screen. Peter's back there in my little library. Have a look. And whatever you do, Kay, I'm asking you to be careful. Box. You would tend to open the box, it's locked all. Trophy sitting atop the bookshelf, Reet, Junior Champion Reese Richard, St. Charles. Head. You press your key, press your finger over the jackpad. Waking a machine. Shield security terminal is displayed on the console. Use terminal. You sit before the shield terminal display. <laughs> We're in. This is a map of Shield Sentinel Trone's security fleet. The entrance to the refineries in his zone A. If we want to gain access to the refinery, then it may be necessary to clear the Sentinels in this zone. Here are currently three drones patrolling zone A. Perhaps there is a way to re of relocating them to an other zones? Yes. Look here.
crab. It seems that there is a precaution in place Rufin and his own verb have a unsecured. But they may be a workaround to this. No song can host more than three sound, or host more than three drones. Where one zone contains no drones, then in maximum capacity near a drone will relocate a drone to its unsecured neighborhood. That means that when removing the last drone from zone A, we must be sure that none of its neighbors are at max zone capacity. We must be sure that none of its neighbors... Okay, so three, two, 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 okay. Can we move the song? Move him. Get so till. Two. Till. Three. Uh huh. Just select with this one over here. Dislart. Move this one right here. Shit. I gotta mow it this way. Okay. A lot minute. Fuck. Since you're only given 10 control upgrades and if with it system resets, most of the can know is more than G. When a drone is sent to an area of the missions at capacity, the destination area controls so it's on. Yet clear it. If we are to clear it, the drones from zone A, the entrance area, that we must ensure no one knew. Right, okay, 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 okay. So. One. Three. Two, 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 two. Three. One. Okay. Shit. Origin zone is insecure. Allocating drones to What it say? Two 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 Zone A unsecured. Rat Astro. Hi! Hello! Hello! Welcome to the Pixel Game. The drones have been cleared from the entrance area of the refiner. I suspect this will be helpful. Okay, he did it. <laughs> it is I. It is you. Okay. 
pixel crazy. <laughs> They don't care. Okay, we're done here. Let's hide. Okay, we did it. Welcome, Pixel Queen. How are you? These are new generation of Saint Clair unit. They are running the latest cloud distributed SEOs. Their armory is composed of m more durable and lightweight alloy than my own. I'm doing. I'll do him balling. Balling? I just found the nude samples for the next phase of my master. <laughs> yeah? What's that? Any access to the facility will not be a trivial task. Indeed, it may not be possible if only to the two of us. He appeared. Focal samples. Also, your laugh is so g What the heck? <laughs> Should hold off. Yeah, but like, where are, who are we gonna like? Shit. You two knuckleheads managed to figure out the shields looking for? Go and tell me a good detective should know what's going on. We'll need help getting into the refinery. <laughs> anyway, I got a deeper sleeper. Eeper sleeper. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you for stopping by. Need says so much. I hope a lovely rest here at night. They bait, take care. Getting into the refinery ain't easy. I know that much from experience. And she find one of them people like that and shopping about in the news to help you out. Oil pirates, barricading highway one. And ape a new fake knee. <laughs> they ring pay plans and all this. Them the only con I ever seen get through this security. They was saying on the TV where them pirates been hiding in the batter Batcher woods. It's all over the TV. The Paplon explosion has such crescents of Lower Trent Charles Parish shaken. Shield officials have determined that the source of the explosion was due to the botched attempt by old pirates to divert the flow of oil into a stolen barge. A man familiar with local law enforcement known only as Lucky was among the pirates. Shield officials say he is believed to be hiding in the butcher woods along the east bank between Kenner and Mill Place. Residents are asked to call Crime Stoppers with any information. Cool, thanks. Hey, what? A 
feud if old part had a Mississippi batch boots. Yeah, but where is that? Did I still need to finish talking, so? Heidi get along the Batcher. <laughs> yes, we saw him mention on the news. Allegedly an oil pirate. What about him? Maybe he can help us get into the shield. That's a reasonable... That's reasonable to assume. get to. Well. What? So, okay. This is, this is the times. Maybe Lucky knows. just home. Okay, a fugitive oil pirate hiding in the Mississippi River. That's your words. Ah, 
Wait. Thatcher. <gasps> you. You aim see a doll? The black pit, green eyes? You see her, you send her ma way. She answers the pots. You the one they're looking for? Well, so what? Look and make the news? They want trouble, here I am. You see that dog send her mod way. An memorial languishes in the river mud. Two by four across plywood plaque. Here in the poor Lord Pulverose Con Sprayed hazardly, haphazardly upon the plywood is rem hmm? is a remembrance. I can't read. Here past the brave freedom platters of January. Next of you one one. Whose cries of liberty echoed through the generations. Much small lettering the different hand to scratch fake across the barm the black. Where do you find freight loaders being paired at the Bots <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you poor heap of food. Onto the ground before the dog food, she laps up the cable and falls behind you as you step away. Poets brought back my bot the pot liquor. <laughs> Cole, she was having me worry. Pods now. She tough. She tough as they come. The pods thought they had her. The lucky thought they had her. He reaches down and pets the dog behind her ear and. <laughs> he regards Million. Say, robot, you look familiar. You a Claire Bionics unit? You know. All right then. Just thought you might. Just thought you might feel lucky and I'm all gossip. What gossip? Laura Saint Clair, the one unusual character. Turn that refinery inside out. Want some wild goose chase? For what? When I was hoping the robot might tell me. But anyhow, they call me Lucked. They call me Lucky. I stuck around here. You need help, you find me. Hope is just what we need. That right? 
We must infiltrate S.H.I.E.L.D. to retrieve some stone property. We could use a hand. I don't go past them fences more than I could count. That's a good time. You and got me a couple grenades in my pack. Lucky you'll come. You can count all lucky. Now that there are so many of us, we'll need the truck to get around. Let's return to the house. I hope to finish repairs quickly. So this Miss Medeer house then. Lucky and Bucky into your mom a bit. How? She was around, seen her a time or two. She weren't no friend of the company's either. I'd have liked to have her dead. Well, I guess they got their wish. They did. These companies want to get off the oil. Too much trouble. What do you mean? He put them wind turbines out in the cove. And now they're building a brain. A, 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 a brain? Hell, everybody know it. Hell, everybody know they in there, building the brain. All the refineries is towing that. Gonna hook them all up, make a bigger brain. Then he enough to outsmart Lucky. Like smarter than a big brand you can dream of. They gonna few they're gonna use it to find it. They going to use it to find the fuel out in space. This a look to him. Another road just trying to make a book. Then why get in their way? Lucky ain't nobody's way. It'll be everybody luck. Everybody like Lucky, just fine. Didn't you blow up an oil pipeline? Lucky them blown up a lot, kinds of shit. <laughs> People think Lucky hate shield. Lucky don't hate shield. He just like call them trouble. The shield ain't nobody have a job in this place. The Hugh come there robot. Best game moving. You wanna talk more? Just tap me on the shoulder. I finish up here in the truck. Show the attendance to access shield. One sock. Save. Save one. Okay. okay. That'll be it. At the start of next stream, we will infiltrate and full treat shield. May find somebody to read. Okay, alright. Thank you for hanging out, and shouting, and lurking, and stopping by. 
I hope you have a lovely rest of day in that Raviar. Baby, take care.